Step 1. Admittance. I admit, I have a bit of a miniature collection problem. That problem is, I don't have enough space to store all of my sweet minis! If you're like me, you have a bit of a sizable collection, and cabinet space is a bit of a premium for you. In my efforts to rectify this problem, I came up with a solution. Metal. No, not that oh. kind of metal. This kind of metal. Ah, okay. got it. I taped the edges so I didn't hurt my little fingies. Hi, I'm Gino the Painting Acolyte, and today I'm going to show you the perfect solution to your miniature storage woes. Not all of us are lucky enough to have endless shelf space to store all of our miniatures and all of our other hobbies and collectibles and plants and anything else that we might be interested in. Some, like me, are stuck in small apartments that we need to squeeze as much functionality out of as we possibly can. In addition to struggling to store your minis properly at home, some people struggle to transport their minis safely and effectively, say if they want to play a game at a game store, or at a friend's house, or something like that. Or if they're moving. A pretty classic, timeless solution to this problem is the stacks and stacks of foam trays and a big specialized, lun oversized lunchbox, basically, with a big strap that you lug around with you. It has little cutouts for your miniatures that you can stick inside and everything, and... Personally, this felt like a half measure to me. It seemed like it would take up a lot of space and not be the perfect solution for storing and transportation completely. In my last big video, I talked about part one of this two-part storage equation. The solution was magic. Magnets! With some glue on your base, you can stick a magnet onto your miniature and store it on a magnetic surface wherever you need. Now, when I did some initial looking around on this subject back when I was tr first trying to find the solution, I found quite a few different options and I've tried a few, and I want to talk about the, my thoughts on all of those things and my ultimate solution here. Now, to get ahead of myself, I just want to clarify. I'm not suggesting that my solution is the easiest, the cheapest, or even the best. I'm saying what worked best for me, and what I'm the most happiest with, and what I will continue to use for my own miniature storage and transportation solution. You might have a better solution already, and if that's the case, please let us know in the comments what your solution is and what you do for your own miniatures. The first option I found for part two of this storage solution was this magnetic rubber sheeting. It's cheap and plentiful and you can find it anywhere. I got some on Amazon in a big pack. Another bonus is that you can cut it with scissors if you need it to conform to some kind of shape, I guess. Unfortunately though, that's about where the upsides end. See, the problem with this rubber magnet sheet stuff is that it's incredibly weak. This stuff is designed to stick to your refrigerators and make kids toys and school crafts and other things like that, not store your precious space marines. I found that my minis would slip and slide and fall all over if I moved the container around, and that just wouldn't do in the case of moving or transporting. So I looked a little more, and I saw some people talking about using metal cooking trays and sheets, finding ones with plastic lids and using those. I have to say, this solution is basically perfect, at least with the tray that I found, except for a couple of small issues. Problem the first, it's too shallow, and it would bend or break minis that weren't short enough. It also works a little too well. For some of my minis, it was a little too tough to immediately remove them from this tray. With smaller, spindlier minis like Night Haunt, for instance, I was really afraid of trying to pry this thing off of this super strong connection and accidentally snapping the miniature in half, which is not what you want out of your storage solution. So here is my ultimate long-term solution for miniature storage and transport. Sheet metal. Now unlike the previous solution, this involves two different things. Technically three. You need both the metal and the container that you're putting it in. For containers, whatever you have will work. Ideally, it would be something square or rectangular. Ideally, it would be tall enough that you could fit something and it won't snap if you put the lid on. Ideally, it would stack on top of each other well. But honestly, whatever you have on hand or can get for cheap will probably work just fine. I don't have any recommendations on where to buy this sort of thing. I just have a motley selection of stuff that I already had or things that I could pick up easily at a hardware store right down the street from me. Which, if that's an option for you, I would say take it. I found some Sterilite tubs there that were not 
expensive at all, but I'll leave a link below for something that I haven't used myself, but that I've seen other people talk about online that they've said that they like. So hopefully that works for you. Then we get to the real solution, metal. <laughs> no, not that metal this metal. Now, I did some Googling and some searching and walking around my local hardware store and found my cheapest and easy solution was to be on Amazon. I'll let you in on a little bit of a secret that you probably already know just by looking at me. I'm not very handy or really in the know of any of this kind of stuff. I've never worked with metal or anything like that before. So I kind of just eyeballed everything and just kind of winged it. And so far it's working, so that's good. I just did some searching and I found a two foot by one foot sheet of some kind of metal on Amazon that was thin enough to be cut with tin snips, which are another thing that I bought, basically these gigantic scissors that you use to cut the metal. Then I just marked out my cuts with a ruler and a marker and just cut away at the sheet metal to fit into a tub. I used a bunch of Gorilla Tape to secure it to the container's bottom. This stuff is really sticky and really strong and the, the the metal's not going anywhere. I originally tried just using like hot glue, but that was a little too weak. And tape is easy enough. When you're cutting it and sticking it to your containers, be very careful. If you cut this stuff with tin snips, you'll get a really, really sharp and potentially jagged edge that you can definitely cut yourself on. Make sure you've got some thick protective gloves on. And if you're young, make sure you get an adult's help with this. Now, sheet metal might seem like a bit of an overkill, and it honestly probably is, but especially considering I will probably have to move soon, I wanted something that was safe and secure for sure. Something that I knew I would not have to worry about. And so far, it's worked like a dream. Now I will also add, in my searching I kept finding it something from Green Stuff World called Rubber Steel. I don't really know what it is, but it kind of looks like those like rubber magnets that I talked about earlier, but stronger in some way. Green Stuff World sells this, but since they're based in Europe, if I tried to order some, the shipping would cost like twice as much as the actual thing itself, so I'm afraid I can't really offer any input onto what this is or what it works or how it works or whatever but I've heard that it's a really good solution. So if you have experience with working with something like this, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I'm sure other people would love to hear your experience as well. And now your minis can live safe and snug and tucked into bed each night, and you can put them in the car and feel secure. I truly hope this video helps some of y'all out there looking to transport and store your miniatures. The last video I sorta made on this topic was really fun to make, and I hope that you enjoyed this one too. That's all folks. I'm Gino the Painting Acolyte, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye